Hey there, Tacky Mama here. Zio Gaming here. Yes, and today we're having the family pack. What is this? Yeah, the, I, yeah, the party pack. Yeah, tacos on Tuesday. Tuesday's tacos. Oh, today's the Tuesday? Party. Yeah, the day's Tuesday. I did not know that. Okay, so I think I, I'm going to let you guys you guys know exactly what's going on here. We got, we got a whole bunch of sauce, as you can see. I got the... I got I, I, uh, Cameron. I think some of our best ones that we got are mild and uh. I like the hot. Yeah, I think I got hot too. Yeah, mild's pretty cool. Okay, and, you got soft and hard tacos. Mm -hmm. Soft tacos. I'm swigging on my one and only blue liquid, which you already know is voltage, but it's yeah. mixed with a little Baja Blast. Blast, yes. Oh, okay, um, I got beef. Oh, uh, you got beef. All right, let's see what I get. I think they all beef. Yo, they're all under Mountain Dew. What if they made uh, the combination of both and call okay. it Voltage Blast? So now, hey, Cameron, I got you and my favorite, man, the Locos. Ah, uh, yeah, man. What about the Locos are so different? Oh, it is the Dorito shell. I mean, ever since they came out, whenever me and Mazzai would have a chance oh, to go to uh, Taco Bell, we would always yeah. get the nacho cheese. Or the oh, thing. okay. You might have to bring it over a little bit. All right, I'm going to let you see inside there. I did some with... uh. Sour cream, some without me. I can eat them with sour cream or without it. You like them with sour cream? Yes, I do. I <laughs> I'm not. Right, a here we go, guys. Mm -mm. This is not bad. This is good. Mm. So, what's our topic for today? Like I said, um, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I heard that they're supposed to be releasing prisoners. Really? Yeah. When? Yeah. Because we don't know a specific deadline, but with them saying it's, it's going to be very soon, I figure within two months stop. Are these prisoners that have had a victimized trial? I mean, trial, and they were vindicated, or they found something in there? You know, I don't know how the court system works, how mm. jails works, but basically, if they find any information that would keep you at a point of not basically being there, but you'd have to, I guess, kind of mm. do certain things to get out. I guess allegedly, uh, you know, you could find your freedom. It's crazy, Zach. Mm. That was pretty good. I tasted the um, the cream at the very end. <laughs> the cream at the very end. I haven't done that one now. On to my next one. Yeah, but. That's what they say. My honest opinion on it, I don't know how this could, how this could go. I mean, you are giving a man that was convicted another chance to freedom. But I would hope that they would consume the following that this person would actually gain help or an understanding on life to actually be able to live it accordingly. If not, then everything that happens with that person is going to be on them. Just saying. So if you're asking my viewpoint on it, I'm neutral. I don't know which way it's going to go. I'm just the type of man to consider the following. I mean, I mean, I don't know what this person out of out of uh, captivity <laughs> could do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of captivity could do. Because remember, they're, they're releasing Fed, I believe. And they're releasing... Um, state? State. Oh, well, Fed well, and yeah. State. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. It, look. It, is, it, it is just too good. I'm sorry. This sounds like, uh... It, it, it's really scary to me. I mean, I'm sorry. It really is. For me, I'm kind of... Leery about it. Eerie, yeah. I'm I can't say petrified because that would be completely like almost losing my crap over it, which I'm not. But, I mean, I hope that everything goes well. I hope that these people are able to, like, you know, find an understanding of the game, like, you know, that perception on life to actually live their life again from... Being inside of captivity, but like I said before, it's considering the following is all I'm doing. Because we don't know what could happen with them being being near other people. We don't know what it could be like for them being out in, out where they're able to have their freedom again. Like to a full 100%. We, we don't know. So, But I'm not going to judge anybody, so I'm going to just leave, it, leave that one where it is. You know, cameraman, if you got anything to say, go ahead. Oh, I figured Auntie had something to say, uh, so I was going to definitely... I don't know. I've, I've got to educate myself on this, because this is the first I've heard of it. And I need to um, find out what's going on, what's the reason why they're being released. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. No, it was also about the other topic, where oh, you mm -hmm. said that someone was allegedly... Oh, uh, Dante mm -hmm. Wright. He yeah. was shot... Um, 
at Brooklyn Center, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. I'm not sure. I, I need to get it right because I don't want to give the wrong facts. Um, and it was about 10 miles away from where George Floyd was killed. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get it right now. 10 miles from where Derek Chauvin is on trial for killing George Floyd. Wait, so this young man got killed not too far away of the incident that took place with George Floyd? Oh, yeah, and I think the young lady the, with the cop that shot him um, has um, resigned and another cop resigned. That sounds pretty suspect. Mm -hmm. The story is they said she said that it, it was her taser. She thought she grabbed a taser, and in actuality, she grabbed her gun. Wait a second. Now, now I'm not trying to say it like this, but if we knew that from school, we could tell the difference between triangles and squares. Mm -hmm. You can tell the difference between a taser and a gun because they have a different barrel. And also, weight capacity. Guns, whenever they're fully loaded, they're heavy as heck. Tasers aren't so much. And not to mention, if you go through the police training academy, there is a different hoister that has a different weapon. Yeah. Because yeah. most, most cops, cops that are right hand, they tend to have their firearm on the right. Their non-lethal weapon, they usually have on their left. Some, they'll have it inside of the front part of the, uh, of the waist belt, I believe that's what they call it. Waist belt? I thought it was a holster. I yeah, well, a holster. Um, but I'm sorry to hear that. Um, um, I didn't know that this lady thought that she went for a gun when chances are a gun's way heavier than a taser. Because she kept saying <clears throat> that she was going to tase him. And he was trying to handcuff him. And I think his tag was out there. <clears throat> And they say he had a warrant. And check out what this warrant was for. They sent the warrant to the wrong house. And he didn't make court. That's too. They sent the woman to the wrong house and he didn't the make court. The warrant. Oh, the yeah. warrant. Oh, okay, okay. And yeah. that's what caused all the problems. But aren't all warrants supposed to travel back to your system yeah. of, you know, your date of birth, all of your yeah. records? Because last time I checked, every, I every, every cop that has a warrant to a person's arrest, they got to have some type of information on them. Yeah. Evidently, I think but, what the stop was about his tag, mm. but he didn't have to die. He no, not have been no, killed. no, 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 he did not die. I feel like this is just my opinion, but there is some truth to it. I feel like if they can find any sort of legitimate reason to gun a person down that is definitely African American, they will utilize that to mm -hmm. the best of their ability mm -hmm. so they would look good, even yeah. though they know deep down inside they're wrong. It's a hate crime, and they're wrong. And think about it, she'd been on the force for 20 some years. And you don't know your taser from your gun. That's why I said it sounds suspect. Mm -hmm. They could take a badge for this. Mm -hmm. And not only, I think she resigned. She ended up resigning. See? It just died over a warrant. I think, I think really. Claude, have mercy. Like I said before, I really think it's just suspect. Because how the heck do you not know that your firearm that's deadly is more heavier than your non lethal And plus they handcuffed him. Why are you handcuffing him? You, you already him restrained him. Exactly. And something, in, um, something was hanging from his rearview mirror. And let me guess, they thought it was a weapon. They said, I guess they thought it was against the law, but they also saw his tags on my son. And found cause to stop him, pull him over. But, um, uh -oh. something keeps coming up on screen. Yeah, it's, anyway, it's always something, something in this history. I, I'm um, just tired of this killing and going on and sad. Why we still got, why we still got a virus out here killing hundreds and thousands by the second. But the biggest virus that has affected time and time again is hatred. Mm hmm Out of any corona, out of any... Alleged white supremacy or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing that rules in this equation is hate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's really sad to me because she said that the young man was only 20 years old. I just reached my early 20s and... You mean I, he was younger than me? I mean, he yes. was just... He well, had two two had zero. a son. And he just not talking about how to child. Yeah. A young and have kids, man. They fooled the heck out of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this happened. My fam my heart goes out to the right family. Yeah, me, me as well. You know, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I got to do it like Ibrahimovic. Well, 
hard. I, I, and I, I feel for his mother. I saw on camera she was crying, so you know, really hard. Yeah, it was, it was, it was traumatic. I mean, I mean, I mean, this definitely got to be um strenuous. For I her. think um, excuse me. He said he, you know, he pulled away from the car. He got back in the car. I guess this young man feared for his life. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, he ended up getting shot. He drove so far, and then he crashed into a um a pole. Mm. This is the same guy that we're talking about. Yes, he got away. He got panicked. away from the cop, and she shot him before. She shot him before. Why are you eating like that? Mm. Whoa. You're supposed to enjoy your food.